This is not your ordinary speed trap. The bottom line is they're breaking the law and uh, we will enforce. Enforcing speed limits on Florida's U.S. Highway 41, running east-west through the Big Cypress National Preserve, has one objective, protecting the Florida panther. The roadways are the most dangerous places for the cats. What we're trying to do is slow the vehicles down, especially at night when the panthers are on the move. It's one of the rarest creatures on the planet. Under federal protection, the Florida panther has rebounded from only a couple of dozen cats 10 years ago to about 100 today. But they've been pushed into the Everglades of southern Florida, less than 5% of their former range. And humans are closing in. Southwest Florida, which is the only place in the world where they still occur, is one of the fastest growing parts of the entire country. There are more cats, there are probably three times more cats than when we first started doing the work, but they have fewer and fewer places to go. So definitely the problem today is loss of habitat. And with more panthers roaming a shrinking habitat, there are more conflicts with people. I've lost 18 goats, five emus, some turkeys, chickens, a few house cats, just about everything that we've got around here has, has been attacked. Longtime resident Dave Sheely says there's just not enough wild prey like deer to support more panthers here. The issue is capacity. There's no doubt in my mind that there's as many panthers here now as the area can hold. Wildlife authorities carry on with their panther program, capturing, collaring, and monitoring the cats. But they now question the goal of reaching 240 panthers here, almost three times the existing population. And a further goal, to have two more panther colonies of the same size, seems even more unrealistic. There's not enough suitable habitat in Florida, and no other state wants them. Wildlife authorities claim they saved the Florida panther from extinction during the last decade by releasing a few Texas cougars here, adding new genetic diversity to remedy physical defects caused by inbreeding. That crossbreeding may have averted one problem for the cat, but it complicates an old question about the identity of the Florida panther. Scientists agree the panther is a separate subspecies. Yet many here say crossbreeding has now produced a more aggressive animal, a different animal. The problem that we see with the Florida panther is not a Florida panther. It's a Texas Kruger Florida panther cross. Not so, say wildlife biologists. These cats are Florida panthers and they are linked to the cats that are out west. They claim they've only replicated what happened naturally before panthers were isolated from western subspecies centuries ago. They say it's resulted in a panther population that's now healthier and more vigorous. A record 15 panthers were killed on these roads last year. Because animals cross here naturally very frequently and they get hit on this road. It's a very deadly stretch of road for panthers. There are plans for more wildlife underpass crossings to reduce road kills. And panther zones like this will be enforced. But road traffic, loss of habitat, and conflicts with humans are continuing threats to this animal. Full recovery for the Florida panther, if it's even possible, still seems many years away. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.